Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And we're going to talk about the pivot point. Ooh. The pivot point is the point at which uh, your transformation occurs. A transformation being scaling, rotating, uh, in this case, um, it wouldn't be moving, <laughs> even though that's a transformation. But I digress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate this object, Shift D. And I'll put one there, and I'll do Shift D. Put another one there. And then I'm going to select, Shift Select, all the objects. So by default, you'll see that it's the pivot points here. And you can see the pivot point uh, with the uh, 3D manipulator here. So you can see that's where, if I do a rotation right now, it's rotating around there. Well, what is that? That is actually the median point uh, between the objects, kind of like the, the average. If we switch it to active object, the way we know an active object in Blender is it's the lighter pink color. So this one right now is the active object, even though they're all three are selected. So we're going to rotate around the active object, and you'll see your visual feedback you get the uh, uh, manipulator here moves over to it. So if I do R for rotate, you'll see it's rotating around that object. Or if I S for scale, it's scaling based on that location. Now, if I, I could also, you know, shift and right click. Uh, and now that's the active object, right? That's right. So if I rotate it, it rotates around that object. I can switch it to individual centers. And this is a neat one because when I rotate now, it rotates around the, the centers of each individual object. That actually looks pretty cool <laughs> when or, it does that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm going around. Yeah. And then you can also set it to the 3D cursor, which I can click around and put that 3D cursor wherever I want. And you see that uh, the little pivot point moves. So if I rotate, we're now rotating based on the location of the 3D cursor. Kind of like the hands of a clock. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the median point, that's the default. So that's like the average of these objects. Note this last one is the bounding box center. So watch the pivot point. It's going to move just a little bit. See how it jumped? So that's like if you were to draw a box around this selection, it's the center of that box. So it rotates around that instead of the average of the locations which is a little bit different there. Yeah, that is interesting. Now there's one other thing that I did not show you. Uh, this this little dealie here. Mm. This button here, if you click it, then when you do a transformation, like for example, if I scale these, it only does it based on the object centers, which what that means, it's easier to show than it is to uh, talk about it. So hit <laughs> S for scale and then I'm going to hit Y for just along the Y axis. Well look at that. I'm scaling right along the Y axis. If I wanted these to line up perfectly instead of trying to just eye it, what I could do is I could do it numerically. I could hit S for scale, Y for the Y axis, and 0% and enter. And now I've got these all lined up perfectly. Yeah, that's really awesome. That saves you a lot of work. Yeah, it, it is. It is pretty awesome. And uh, that's just with clicking the Object Centers button. So it's not affecting the actual mesh data at all. It's just affecting their locations. Yeah. And that's manipulating the pivot point yeah. in Blender. Bye. Bye.